Ill Manor Films. Oh, mind your manners. I'll give it to Wesley Snipes. That 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 blade was our. That was blade. the first one. But, blade was bomb. But yeah, absolutely, hundred percent. Blade was bomb. Shout to Sticky Fingers. I actually, think it was uh, blade, to Sticky Fingers. Is blade. To everyone, shout, how good it was. Shout to Sticky Fingers. Our first guest. Our first guest ever shout was Sticky out to Fingers. Sticky Fingers. And he was Blade. He played Blade on a television show. Yo, yo. Oh shit! All right, here we have our guest of honor tonight. Segue into music, though. Yeah, we're waiting for you to call in to talk about music because we figured the '80s was the the era that inspired you the most. Obviously, <laughs> that's when you came up. How you man, boy? We tried to represent everything, but who who inspired you the most from the '80s? As as a as a rapper, we'll say. I know who your favorite artist was, but as a rapper, who was that? Who was my favorite artist? Well, from what you told me was Prince. Prince? That's what you told me. Oh, fuck it. Prince. <laughs> you know, favorite artist? I okay. Can't, I can't front. I used to listen to Prince. I don't, I don't think I have a favorite artist. Uh, who inspired you then? Oh, someone from the 80s. Slick Daddy Slick Daddy Crane. Rock Band. Run DMC. Yeah. Perfect. The you know what I mean? Did you listen to anything else growing up besides rap? <laughs> uh, yeah. I listened to everything, though. All the oldies for goodies. It's everything. Yeah, I, I only yes, really, man. I only really listen to rap. That, 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 that's kind of sucks for me. But. Yeah, man, you got a bright Well, now I listen to more, but I'm saying when I was a kid, it was pretty much just rap and New Kids on the Block. <laughs> I have to go with New Kids on the Block. Billy Joel was dope. I, guess, I can't picture Sticky listening to Billy Joel. <laughs> uh, Lionel Richie was dope, though. Lionel Richie, David Bowie. Yeah. Were you rapping in the 80s? Or were you, have you been writing yet? Absolutely. Really? And your name was Trop then? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tropical? Yeah. Trop. Trop. I was tropical because I had all the flick. I used to run around. I used to run around with the deep of the ice. The Deceps of Lola. Shout out to the Deceps. Shout out to the Lola. Mr. Weston. Your favorite fashion of the 80s? Got fashion of the 80s? Yeah. Um, I don't know. Pi Polo. I like Polo. I like Low Life. That's a good one. I can't. I, I I couldn't afford that shit, or I didn't have nowhere to steal it from anyway. <laughs> nah, you want to post some people from any You're supposed to steal that shit, sir. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what you got? Yeah, why don't you use your white privilege? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Over we didn't have to steal it though. People were playing music like, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the hoods. Did you rock Whitney Houston? Were you fucking with that kind of music? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. yeah. Everything, man. I listen to everything. Oh. I don't discriminate. My music taste is not racist. Uh, I think especially in the 80s, there was so much music yeah, yeah. out there. Like, like no, so Phil much Collins. variety to choose from. Phil that, Collins was my shit. Like even grow up, growing up saying? in the Bronx, like I heard every yeah, time. You know, your parents always play the old school joints. Uh, mm -hmm. the and they were just yeah. getting off disco. My parents played, my mom listened to like, um, like the, the Elvis style rap. Like she white, I mean, the queen. Uh, my, uh, rock. My dad listened to more soul, so I kind of heard both. Fly me to the moon. <laughs> In other words. Stevie Wonder. Stevie Wonder. Tina, Tina Turner. Oh, Tina Turner. I told my mom no, I wanted Tina. to change my name of to course. Tina. I'd be like, can I change my name to Tina? Uh, the, the, only, the only police I like was the group. The only thing that you mentioned, in, right. nobody. And these generations, no, no, yeah. they're so deprived. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's funny because Billy Idol, Bob they're Joe. deprived, but they have access to everything, yeah. everything at the at their fingertips. That's true. Yeah, yeah. U two was big in the eighties. It's called the internet. The internet makes the world smaller. Yeah. It's like science. For sure, dude. Science, science is learning more and more about less and less. Do you remember your first verse? <laughs> You better watch out. Better watch out. A uh, tropical storm is coming. Oh my god. <laughs> I just got my new hook. Tropical is here to to give a toast to the crew who gets much rank, plus respect, and a fat check. Move right along, get on your mask, get the tango. Yep. He's thinking hard. I can see him too. He's thinking. Hey, <laughs> it's coming back, though. It's it is. coming back. It, 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 went, it went something like that. That's dope, That's man. Good. Thank you for doing that. That was <laughs> that was so amazing that you just did that right there. <laughs> um, you wanted you wanted to ask him about cassettes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have one. 
I can't front. So I a big thing in the eighties, you know, we t we take a. Uh, we take abuse of it now that music is so portable, but in the 80s was the Walkman. Mm. And with the Walkman came cassette tapes. So we, we got one right here. The bowl box. You know, I mean... Obviously, I it's not this, the 80s, this but... It's definitely not the 80s, but for, for everyone out here in the world that has not seen a cassette tape ever in their life... Oh, wow. This is what, this is what it looks like. Okay. A single. The, the millennials are like, wow, what's that? Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. And so this is called is that a iPod? single, right? Because if it was an actual, like That's the whole like album. A yeah. If it, rotary telephones. Yes. If it was a whole album, it would be a clear <laughs> case. And then you have when all TV, the When TV used to go off. Yeah. yeah and the TV off. weighed 300 pounds. Yeah. That's right. It would turn off at midnight. Oh yeah. yeah, that's right. Because there was no programming. Huh? And then you get that. This is the uh, this is a test from the emergency broadcast system. If that's this wasn't this a test. A broadcast system. Yeah. Now was the eighties when they came out with the it's ten o'clock. Do you know where your kids are? <laughs> was that in the eighties or was that the nineties? I'm not sure. I don't remember. I'd be like, I'm right here, mom. I'm right here. I was outside, so I never heard that. <laughs> <laughs> I ran away when I was 15. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Did you come back or you left and you just, you grew it, up? It never went back. No oh, shit. Damn. Did you have a plan or it was a last minute like, I'm And when I did finally go back, when I didn't go back, I, I, I came back and I pulled her house. Oh, shit. Okay, that's a great way to come back. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you can't be, what was, what was your first concert? Yo, man. There's so many. I was there when KRS One threw Pierre Dorn on stage. No shit. That's a legendary story. Oh no shit. shit. Now you got an add on. <laughs> oh, shit. There you go. <laughs> we got some people talking in the chat for you, Stiggy, too. Back to Fuck Up is the first cassette I ever bought. Oh, yeah. Where did you see the chat at? Well, we're on all social medias. All right, guys. Yeah. Thank you for tuning in. Make <laughs> sure you sorry. watch us on YouTube. Mind Your Matters Podcast. Mind Your Matters, boy.